окей. exercise long time maybe 20 maybe even more days because I was uh, severely sick and now it seems I am I've recovered and I can continue nevertheless I was talking to myself in dictaphone I was writing each day and my practice was continuing and I just didn't talk using the camera and it seems that when I use all this exercise, I mean talking to the dictaphone, talking to the camera, writing, thinking, and all of that. Uh, each exercise is like a new frame, and I can't, for example, if I can talk with myself to the, if I can talk to the dictaphone, pretty easier. When I use the camera, it's not. It doesn't mean that I will, talk, I will uh, talk in the same way to the camera because it's quite different. But again, I think I need just a little bit time, maybe. A, how much? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five uh, speeches, and after that, everything is going to be right. Well, I want to start today from Filler Wars. I at, at last I knew the name. I I, I found out the name of this uh, unpleasant words which frequently occur in my speech, such as a eh, mm, like 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 or something like that, some, 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 something like that, it's also a filler, a filler phrase or filler words. Okay, and okay also, yeah, and yeah also. <laughs> I, uh, f every day, uh, from, I don't know, two days ago, I, f I, I found this exercise, no, this not, I found this name in the internet, and I decided to watch every day at least one video about this problem and to find some new solutions. Now I have some strategies how to overcome this problem. First is just to be conscious. Second is every time when I use the filler words I have to focus on it and to say, oh, okay, it's a filler words and I have to avoid this. I also used uh, this strategy before and in some sense it was useful, but again, it's useful when you practice it, but then if you stop to do it, everything came back again and you can't just, for example, to achieve some, some level and forget about this problem. It will also occur, especially in a new language, because if, I, if you talk in a, your own language, it's pretty easy to overcome all these things uh, just by being conscious of during the month. I remember when I started to record myself and talk to the in, in Russian, I immediately noticed that I used lots of uh, such things as like as so to speak and others and I said and ah mm, also and I uh, set up some and I set up a goal to avoid these things and after a month there wasn't uh, such thing there were, weren't such things at all. Then after af afterwards I used them, but I did it consciously and it wasn't a problem. The same I think refers to English when I just want to establish this goal and pursue it and achieve some point when I will not think and will not concern about these things. Of course, if I say one or two filler words during my speech, even for five minutes speech, it's okay, it's not so bad. But uh,